Hey everybody, it's Staten again, bringing you the second of the Let's Play Live a Live ending movies. This is the good bad ending, that's what I like to call it. Uh, I'm picking up immediately where I left off after the first ending video, so you're going to want to watch that first. This time through, instead of losing a fight intentionally, I'm going to go through and beat all of them to get, as what I called earlier, the good bad ending. So we'll start off here as O.D.O., the dinosaur, and I'll target Fred's girlfriend first, if I can get it lined up here, because she is the one that does healing and is also the one capable of doing the most damage. And she also has the least hit points. And Lizard for a Loincloth guy, whose name I can't remember just now, shows up. I wish I could remember it. As you can see, there is a cut in there. Um, this was originally 20 minutes long, and I had to cut it down for uh, time, you know, so I could fit into a single YouTube video. You're not really missing much, I promise. Just uh, a lot of beat down, a lot of a lot of fighting that I wouldn't have anything interesting to say during anyway. And I beat Gory, and that's victory for that. I'm going to go through and try to do them in chronological order. So next up is Odie Wan Lee from the Monk's Monk Campaign. Uh, as usual, if you don't know what's going on here, uh, then you really should have been reading the thread or watching my previous videos at the very least. Not that I know why you'd want to do either of those. Oh, and for those of you who are nitpicky about this kind of thing, as I usually am, usually I'm very detail-oriented, but there's Mr. Cursor, little Mr. Mouse Pointer right there. He's going to be there throughout the entire video. I apologize, but by the time I realized what was uh, that it was there, um, it was too late. I don't know why I'm having that problem now, when in previous videos I never had a problem with leaving the Mouse Pointer. I always got it out of the way. I guess I just uh, didn't do any videos for a couple of weeks and got sloppy. And number three, we're already we've already won two vid two battles in uh, two and a half minutes, and we're on to number three, which was my least favorite chapter for those of you who remember the very annoyed ninja chapter. Now we'll fight the uh, giant mutant frog man. I don't know. Japan is weird, and I don't understand. <laughs> uh, I don't understand them fern cultures. Uh, um, anyway, as you can see, there's another jump cut, because I love editing in this video. There's a lot of fade-ins and fade-outs, because I want to make them not quite so jarring and abrupt. As I jump through various battles, and various dialogue between battles, or monologues, I guess, because Cloud's really the only character here. <laughs> These battles are way easier as the bad guy, which just goes, I guess that just goes to show that either they were going easy on you, or the AI is really lousy, or something's going on in this game. Yep, and I cut out the rolling tumbleweed and the whole western-style stare-down just to save time. This, this one, this particular battle's been severely curtailed as it turns out that it took me a while to figure out that the Gatling gun attack is actually the best one and does the most damage. But it has, of course, the, sh um, not the shortest range, but the smallest number of possible squares you can hit in. So, hold on. There's be, there'll be a cut anywhere in here somewhere where they'll just jump to me finishing them both off really fast. Come on, Dio. Yeah, there we go. See, what did I tell you? Pretty brutal, and we're about halfway through this uh, this whole charade. 
And as you can see here, I screwed it up. I went directly from the cowboy to the near future. So I went from the Wild West to the near future and skipped the modern era wrestler boss. What's his name again? I forget. I can't remember any of these names. I must be getting old or something. So here we have the giant bird Buddha statue versus the giant... It's not Gigantor if we hot glue enough little accessories onto him, like a crown and some highlighting. That makes him not Gigantor. And now we're doing the far future with the robot scenario. And then I just cut out all of his whiny little dialogue. I think I do that to the next boss, too. Excuse me. You shouldn't drink and play games and do video Let's Plays no matter what Slow Beef tells you. It doesn't help. And he's doing pathetic amounts of damage to me. Just pathetic. Unfortunately, the attacks that this particular boss has are pretty limited, but I was victorious anyway. Because the robot couldn't pull it together enough. Now I just gotta tie up this loose end, which is uh, otherwise known as this guy here. Um, OD, ODO, some variation on ODO. Odie, just Odie. And once again, this is another scenario where this battle on these battles only take as long as it takes me to figure out which attack does the most damage. And how to best how to best position yourself to use that attack. So you're not really missing much, just me sort of experimenting on the fly. See? And I believe that's all of them. And you think that would mean that I'm gonna just do some, you know, I won't do any more editing and let you uh, just watch the end. But actually, no. Um, there's still more editing because the end is pretty, uh, pretty short. Or not pretty short. It's pretty long, but it's mostly credits. <clears throat> so, the credit sequence, the ending, and the, and the credit sequence for this ending is pretty much just him wandering around to various places that were important to him in his life, or something like that. And you know, and since his life apparently only consists of the events leading up to the scenario, you know, the events in the scenario, it's pretty short, so he spends a lot of time standing around and walking from place to place. And I don't really know what this is supposed to symbolize, other than the fact that since the guy has spent about half his time in flashbacks during his scenario, but not to flashbacks of things that happened before the scenario, flashbacks that happened to things in the scenario, they felt the best way to get in touch with his character is to do more flashbacks. So... We're gonna. Oh yeah, remember the remember the road sign. Remember how important that was during this part of the game. Yeah, where he spent an hour looking at the road sign because he just didn't. Oh, and here's those flashbacks I was talking about. So, the, I cut down the ending because it was mostly him staring at road signs and uh, having more flashbacks because he really needed to have more flashbacks. And here we go. This is it, folks. I hope you enjoyed watching this. This is the sad ending. If you go to the website that you all know, I'll be doing the good ending next, so stay tuned there. Bye.